What's up, people? This is Total Master, and this is kind of episode or turn number 31 of the England uh, Retrofit Hot Seat, which was post hosted by Celtic Warband. But I have been kicked, uh, and actually, I think that's a good thing, because this was the only hot seat I have ever been in, and that was a toxic one. So basically, the most beef started off with the French player. I came in in turn 10, I think, or 11, and the first thing he did was uh, write, like, yeah, let's be friends, yeah, whatever, and then, of course, backstab in the first second. Now, you know, doesn't matter, you know, that's a part of the hot seats, but he was, like, really toxic about it, like, the whole time, like, oh, I'm the best, I'm the best, you're, 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 you're it's bad, whatever. I think he was thinking I was like a noob who doesn't know how to play Medieval 2. And he would just steamroll me, but yeah, that, that didn't happen. <clears throat> Anyways, after that, uh, I used exploits that were not forbidden in the rules. So this is my second point. The rules were constantly changing through uh, playing them, through the timeline of the hot seat. We started off with rules that didn't prohibit exploits. I did an exploit, which to be honest, the only difference that made was that like three of my troops didn't desert. That was all of it. And of course he thinks that that was a major game breaking thing that, you know, whatever, that destroyed everything for him. Now to be honest, you know, maybe I should have asked if exploits were allowed, that that could be, a, uh, you know, a part on my guilt, I guess. But if things are not forbidden, I do them. You know, I always play on the edge of uh, the rules because that's how you win. If you're gonna play like you know, otherwise you're not gonna win because other guys will use things that you won't use to their advantage. So that's why I use exploits. Anyways, that counted as my first offense. Like, if, they, if you break the rules three times, you get out. Anyways, that kind of somehow counted as my first offense. Uh, even though it was not forbidden, but okay, whatever. I take that one, because, yeah, exploits, maybe they're not honorable. Yeah, whatever. Then the second thing happened was the fort uh, thing. There were no rules prohibiting any placements of more than a certain amount of forts in anywhere. So I placed a few forts around because I needed one time needed to buy myself one turn time to get my army closer to a certain region. And again I was called out, why did you do that? That's not good, you know. But okay, that didn't count as offense, but the next turn, boom, they put it in the rules. Maximum two forts uh per a player sorry per region, not per player, per region in general, only two forts can be in one uh, region. Now that, I think, is flawed, because one can put in two forts and the other guy can't put any. I think it should be fair, maybe like 1-1 one, one or 2-2, two, two, you know? Everyone can put one fort in one region, or everyone can put two forts in one region, whatever. But yeah, okay, that didn't count as an offense, because, of course, it wasn't even in the rules that it's not allowed. Then, the French player broke the rules, and I was trying to convince both him and both the uh, admin of the hot seat that he broke the rules. But they were constantly saying me, no, he didn't break the rules. No, he didn't break the rules. No, he didn't break the rules. And then I just gave up and said, okay, he didn't give break the rules, whatever, I don't care. And that was a mistake for me as well, because I should have continued with, with my pursuit, which I later proved to them that it was a rule break. Uh, but yeah, and also at the first it was a bit dismissed because I, I pointed it out too late. Because what happens, of course, the French player is right after me. So before I get my turn, I... You know, the, the whole turn, turn almost goes around, so... He did his turn, he broke the rules, it came to me, I saw, okay, there's a rule break, but I still posted my turn. Again, my mistake, shouldn't have done that. I should have held my turn until the situation is cleared. Posted my turn, said to the admin, there's a rule break, and then, of course, was almost another turn, turn passed, and then they, another thing they said, well, it's 
why did you report it so late? I, we can't revert two turns and whatever. I, I just gave up on that, which is a bad idea for me. I should have gone with myself and proved to them that that was a big rule. I mean, big. It was a rule break. If my thing was a rule break with exploits that only changed three stacks, I lost my whole stack because of this. So, sorry, not three stacks, three unit cards, three times 120 troops, whatever. Over here, I lost my whole. Break. Basically, I don't know if it was full stack, but I'm certain there were like 15 units or 10 units, something like that in there. But yeah, okay, we'll come back to that later. Anyways, <clears throat> after that, uh, I think I. Yeah. Then after that, the rules dis just disappeared. There were no rules published <clears throat> for the next, like, I don't know, six turns. Which, again, you know, I'm in many hot seats. I kind of forget the rules of every certain hot seat in particular, what exactly they say. And I placed two forts in a region where the other player had one fort. Because I, I thought, okay, uh, I, I knew there was something about the forts. And I said, okay, I think it's two forts per player per region. And even in my video, you can see, okay, that I can put two forts in a region. Because I thought it was like that. Not two forts in general per region. So yeah, that was a rule break. Although an accidental one. And although that was, to be honest... A mistake because there were no rules and I wasn't able to check them. That counted as my second defense. And then later on, I finally proved that the French player did cheat and that he. Because I made a video on it, it's on my channel, <clears throat> basically about the blocking. Because in the rules, it says no blocking uh, or sur surrounding enemy armies to prevent the retreat because then they die 100%. And they were still like constantly saying, no, no, it's not true. But then at the end, I finally showed them how it, it works. And yeah, after that, I think there was, yeah, the, the, after that, the rules came back, although completely different ones. And there, there was this funny thing. It said, uh, let me actually find this rule. Maybe it's still the same. Maybe they changed it. But anyways, it said something like no blocking of enemy armies of enemy jihad slash crusading armies if you're uh, I think but then it excluded enemies or different faith let me just find that rule if I can if I can do that uh, agents uh, all faction battles uh, <clears throat> let's see Okay, faction of the same. Let's see if they change it. Actually, faction of the same faith and allied cannot block a crusading army. This does not apply to enemy factions, as the crusading army can attack them. This does not apply at to factions of another faith, as the crusading army can attack them. So basically, I was the enemy of, of Denmark. Although Denmark player is totally cool, nothing wrong with him. The only player I had beef was uh, the French one. <clears throat> but you know, just I block him. Uh, and they counted me that as a rule break. When it specifically says that this does not apply to enemy factions as the Crusading Army can attack them. Now, of course, that sentence is not correct. If a faction isn't excommunicated, you can't attack them, even if it's your enemy. Now, of course, what was their say was oh your total master you should know that that's not true you should you you know that you can't attack uh, armies that are your enemies but are not excommunicated I was like yeah that's true but the rules say that I can block them you know then then we're like trying to say oh because you 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 know you know the game you know something is wrong with the rules. Then you should like do that, you know, still don't do it if the rules allow it, which I will never do because that is just like shooting myself in the foot. So that was another thing they kind of said. And I don't know if that counts as a fantasy or no <clears throat> for like the rule breaks. And that was actually if they took one for like turn 
I don't know, like almost 10 turns ago. I just had to pause the recording. Anyways, and then they found a real break from like 10 turns ago. Just because I was probably getting on their nerves because I was kicking France's ass. I was kicking Denmark's ass. And they were in alliance with the admin. And yeah, I kind of feel it was a bit of a bias hot at the end, but I'm not gonna go too much into it. Uh, anyways, I'll link the turn, I mean, I'll put the turn after this rant I had right now in this video. So if you want to check that out, but no more England retrofit videos will be coming. Uh, at least not from this hot seat, because it was kicked. Although I think the administration was a bit flawed at some times. Um, but yeah, mistakes happen. I did some mistakes as well, I'm not gonna say I'm totally innocent. But also I think the other side was a bit biased and not innocent. Anyways, uh, have fun looking the last turn of my England retrofit hot seat. What's up, people? This is Total World Master, and this is turn number 31 of the England hot seat. Take this bride, Soviet Union says, Dear noble ally, if you're wondering why myself and Mar Milan are at war right now, ask him via our Discord or here in the hot seat, and he will explain. Okay. Why are you two in war with Russia? The Turks, there is a diplomat of mine in the Stauffen region. He's headed to Paris. If you can meet up with him, we can arrange a trade deal. Uh, I'll go with Milan. Your Majesty. Uh, that's Russian. So the, I need to find a Turkish. I'll just... Wait, I did get trade route to Venice last time around, didn't I? Uh, trade rights, yes, good. So, Stauffen is this, yeah, okay. Your orders, sire. Without question, sire. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Uh, <clears throat> my diplomat is just west of Milan and is coming north to you not not to you to Paris I suppose okay so over here we have this situation I think we should have a big enough army for this how does it look three to one nice we get a victory Okay, now what we're gonna do with Rams? This is an interesting. Okay, these can reach. Okay, it looks like these guys can reach as well. Hungarian spy. Okay, you get over there. Don't think anyone else can reach. Right. <coughs> in that case, we'll just get you guys in there. Still have space for some of you. See if we can merge some extra troops. Uh, like this. Okay. Just get you in there. And now let's sally out from over here. Four to three. It's enough. Good. That was a bit close, but it's good. These are the ones that actually can't get in, but no problem. I don't think he can punish me for that. Okay, I think we should upgrade that in Paris. <clears throat> I have a spy over there. Okay, nothing is really coming our way over there, so that's good. <coughs> Wait, 
Wait, what? Oh no, it's Soviet Union, not these guys. Oh, r r it's because his name is Soviet Union. It's not with Russia, is it? No. With Soviet Union. <coughs> that was, yeah. <laughs> it's a problem because, you know, it's called the Soviet Union and then you have Russia and it's a bit... Yeah. Confusing. Okay, are we building things anywhere that, like, will be built soon? Because I don't want to... Oh, that sounds good. We need to be building stuff. What can I build, though? Would a gain exchange help me? Well, that's something. Should I go for something else else? Well, let's check. I don't have any better options. Sometimes. Okay. The other way. So this one, 50, 120. Who's actually better right now? We'll do it like this. Uh, I'll go ahead and move this guy as well. Okay, how much money will we be making? At your service. Opening a nice. That's a decent amount of money. <coughs> okay, we have quite a few spies over there. can hide these guys in there. Okay, good. And I kind of want to bring as many spies as possible over there. So we can actually uh, maybe sneak in over there. He doesn't have a spy in there. He has one over there, but that's not too big of a problem. Okay, I think I want one more spy over here. Spies are very important. Be honest, I'd like one more over there as well. You guys just kind of go up to Bruce. Away with you, and I will see you <coughs> so these guys should now start getting some desertion, I think. Okay, also have these guys. Just right set hours. Yes, it is. Bring you over there. <coughs> Can I have any spies that I don't know of over here? I don't think so. Nope. So, yeah, we'll see if we'll be able to get Wrens. Or Ren. I think it's called Ren. Okay, so this spy, I don't know, <coughs> just check up there a bit, it could be a good idea to get a whole stack to him, we're supposed to take meds, but that's too risky right now, I don't like that idea. <coughs> and of course there was of course a few problems about this army blocking it 
But come on, the rules stated... I was surprised that it was allowed, but sorry, it was in the rules, so I freaking did it. But now, because even if it's still in the rules that I can do it, I decided to unblock him because... I just don't want any more drama. This hot seat is a bit drama. Maybe I was responsible a bit because I did the exploits, which were not forbidden. But okay, they're not like... How could I say? If they're allowed, they're allowed. So if this was like manual resolve, I would never put this guy over here, but since it's just auto resolve, there's no no worry about that. Let's see if I moved all of my spies and stuff. <clears throat> I'll just get you down there now. See if this will work. I'm not sure if he has any troops hidden anywhere. Hope he doesn't. But yeah. Gonna end the turn. France should be up next. Thank you very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, make sure to join the Black Army, liking, subscribing and commenting down below, join me on Discord and Facebook, and until next time, fuck off.